friends, Miss Hannah here from the Carmel Clay Public Library. Are you ready for another recorded story time? Today, we're gonna go visit the zoo in our stories and read about and hear about lots of different animals. Are you ready to join me? All right, let's start with our hello song. So can you clap with me? And we're going to clap and sing hello. Are you ready? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Now can you tap your legs and sing hello? We tap and sing hello. We tap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. All right, can you nod your head and sing hello? Here we go. We nod and sing hello. We nod and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we nod and sing hello. All right, now we're gonna wave, our last one. We wave and sing hello, we wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. Yay! All right, can you roll your hands like this? We're gonna sing a roly poly song. We're gonna sing roly poly, and then we're gonna go up, 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 and then roly poly again, and then down, down, down. Are you ready? Roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 up. Roly poly poly, roly poly poly, down, 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 down. Good. All right, we're gonna do that again, roly poly, but this time we're gonna bring our hands in close together and we're gonna say in, in, in. And then the next time, next part we're gonna say is out, out, out. Okay? So it goes like this. Roly poly, roly poly, in, 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 in. Roly poly poly, roly poly poly, out, 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 out. Yay! All right, one last one. We're gonna do roly poly and then we're gonna go fast, fast, fast. And then we're gonna go slow. All right, here we go. Roly poly, roly poly, fast, 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 fast. Roly poly poly, roly poly poly, slow, 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 slow. Yay! Good job! All right, we're gonna read our first story together. And this story is called Dear Zoo, written by Rod Campbell, read with permission by Simon and Schuster Publishers. So the Dear Zoo sounds like the beginning of a letter. I wonder if they're writing a letter to the zoo. I wonder what animal is in this cage. You can see parts of it. I bet we'll find out in the story. But it says, from the zoo. Would you like to get an animal from the zoo? Ooh, I wonder what kind of animals the zoo would send. Let's read and find out. Ready? I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me a, look at this big box. Do you know what color that is? Yellow, a yellow box. It says very heavy. Hmm, I wonder what could be inside. They sent me a, an elephant. Wow, elephants are really big, aren't they? There's their trunk. They're so heavy. He was way too big. So I sent him back. So they sent me a, here's another box. This one's a little bit taller. Do you know what color that is? A green box. It says fragile, which means um, it can break easily. Let's see what's inside. It's a giraffe. Whoa, look at that tall, long neck. Whoops. Do you think I can get this giraffe inside my house? Will he fit through the door? No, he was too tall, so I sent him back. So they sent me a, here's a red cage, like the one from the cover. It says, danger. Can you tell what's inside? Let's see. Ah, it's a lion. 
Can you roar like a lion? <gasps> roar! Oh my goodness, that's scary. He was too fierce and scary. So I sent him back. Oh, here's another box. This one's kind of blue. You can see an animal peeking through. It says, with care from the zoo, what's inside? Oh, it's a camel. He doesn't look very happy to be at my house. He doesn't look very happy to be here in this book. He was too grumpy. So I sent him back. This looks like a little bit smaller basket. Let's see what's inside. They sent me a, a snake. Oh my goodness. My mom is kind of scared of snakes. Do you know what a snake noise make? What the noise a snake makes? But he scared my mom and he was a little too scary for me. So I sent him back. Oh, look at this animal peeking through. What could that be? They sent me a, oh, how cute. A little monkey. Oh, oh, ah, ah. But he was too naughty. He ate all our bananas. He jumped on our beds. So I sent him back. Bye, monkey. Oh, here's a really little box a pink box. They sent me a oh, ribbit, ribbit. What is that? A frog. He was too jumpy. So I sent him back. So they thought very hard and sent me a, look at this looks a little different than all the other boxes. It looks like a carrier, a yellow carrier. And it says, from all your friends at the zoo. Let's see what's inside. Are you ready? <gasps> it's a puppy. Look at his cute pink tongue and his tail. What noise does a doggy make? A puppy. Ruff, 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 ruff. He was so cute and so perfect that I kept him. The end. Wasn't that a cute story? Wouldn't it be kind of fun to have the zoo send you some animals? Might be a little bit scary too. Do you know what they call people who work at the zoo? Zookeepers. Do you know what zookeepers do all day? They take care of the animals and they feed them. Well, I've got a zookeeper here with us today and this is Mr. Lou. And Mr. Lou takes care of many different animals. Let's see which kinds of animals he takes care of. We're gonna go ahead and follow Lou this way. All right, here we are. Now, you can see there's some different animal habitats. Let's listen to Lou as he tells us about the different animals and we can guess who is hiding. My name is Lou and I work at the zoo, feeding the animals. Can you guess who? The first one. This animal likes to swing in the trees and eat bananas. Who do you think it is? What animal do you think it might be? Let's find out. It's a monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Can you make a noise like a monkey? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. And they like to jump and swing. My name is Lou and I work at the zoo, feeding the animals. Can you guess who? This next animal has big ears, eats hay, and has a long nose. Ooh, do you know what animal that might be? It's a elephant. There's the long nose called a trunk, those big ears. Ooh, there's another animal, let's see what it is. My name is Lou and I work at the zoo. Feeding the animals, can you guess who? This next animal has a long neck so he can reach the leaves way up high in the trees. He's also yellow. Do you know what it might be? Let's see what it is. It's a giraffe. They have those long necks to reach the leaves really high up. 
Oh, look at this one. Let's see what it is. My name is Lou and I work at the zoo. Feeding the animals, can you guess who? This one lives, it looks like a cold place. The fur is white and they eat seals and fish. What do you think it is? A polar bear! Can you growl like a bear? Ah, ooh, scary. My name is Lou and I work at the zoo. Feeding the animals, can you guess who? Oh, here's our last one. It looks more like a desert, somewhere hot. Hmm, this animal, you can see a little parts of it, hisses and eats mice and slithers. What do you think it is? It's a snake. Can you make the noise of a snake and slither? Good. Oh, thank you, Lou, for showing us all these animals. Uh-oh, I think some monkeys are being naughty. I heard they're jumping on the bed. Let's, Lou's gonna go catch them. Let's follow Lou and then we can sing our next song. Lou, you made it. <laughs> oh man, just in time. Look at these monkeys over here. Can you guys sing a song with me about these naughty little monkeys jumping on the bed? Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, ooh, five monkeys. All right, you wanna jump, or you wanna stand up so you can jump like the monkeys are jumping on the bed and you can sing this song with me. Ready, stand up, here we go. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now we have four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Ouch! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now we have three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Ouch! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now we have two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Ouch! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. We have one left, one little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now there's no monkeys, no little monkeys jumping on the bed. None fell off or bumped their head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, put those monkeys right to bed. Good night, monkeys. I'm so glad they decided to go to bed. All right, we're gonna read one more story and we're going, in our next story, we're gonna do some other movements like animals. Just like we were jumping like monkeys, we're gonna move some other animal ways. Are you ready? All right, our last story in our next story. So this is called From Head to Toe by Eric Carl. Read with permission from HarperCollins Publishers. So can you see what's on the front cover here? This is a gorilla. And look, he's pointing to his head. Where's your head? And he's pointing to his, he's got his other hand by his toes. And we're gonna move every part of us in between our head and our toe, just like the animals in the story. Ooh, this is a very colorful page. What, what are some colors that you see on this page? <clears throat> I see yellow, green, some blue, and some red. Looks like somebody painted the pictures. From head to toe by Eric Carl. Look, he's pointing to his head and pointing to his toe, just like the gorilla. I am a penguin. There's a penguin. And I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you turn your head? I can do it. Good. 
What else does a penguin do when they move? Can they waddle? Can you waddle like a penguin? Oh, what's that animal? A giraffe. I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? Can you bend your neck? Your neck is right here, right under your head. <laughs> you can bend it from side to side. I can do it. Do you know what that animal is? It's a buffalo. I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Do you know where your shoulders are? Raise your shoulders up and down, up and down. Can you do it? I can do it. Oh, there's that monkey. I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? Can you wave your arms? Wave them. I can do it. Oh, there's a seal. I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands together. I can do it. Oh, where's, what's that animal? It's a gorilla. <laughs> I am a gorilla and I thump my chest. Can you do it? Can you thump your chest? Oh, I can do it. You make some noises like a gorilla. Oh, what's that animal? It's a kitty cat. What sound does a cat make? Meow. I am a cat and I arch my back. Can you arch your back? Might have to bend over and arch your back up to the sky, just like this kitty cat's doing. I can do it. See, she's doing it too. Oh, what's that animal? I am a crocodile and I wiggle my hips. Can you wiggle your hips? Your hips are down here, wiggle them back and forth. Can you do it? I can do it. What's this animal? It's a camel. I am a camel. They have a hump on their back. And I bend my knees. Where's your knees? Can you do it? Bend your knees and bend down. Or bend them up. I can do it. I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? You can kick your legs up out front. Make sure you don't hit your neighbor. Can you do it? Do you know what a donkey noise is? Yeehaw! <laughs> Can you do that? Yeehaw! What's this animal? I am a elephant and I stomp my feet. Can you do it? Can you stomp your feet? I can do it. Do you know what this animal is? There's a parrot. And there's a boy over here and he, and it says, I am I and I wiggle my toes. Can you wiggle your toes? Wiggle your toes. Maybe they're in your shoes. Can you do it? I can do it. Look, he's wiggling his toes too. We moved every part of us from head to toe. The end. Now we're going to pretend to be an elephant again. So can you be an elephant and get your trunk out in front of you? And we're going to sing a song and we're going to raise our trunks like an elephant. So our song's going to go like this. If you're an elephant and you know it, raise your trunk. Raise your trunk. If you're an elephant and you know it, raise your trunk. If you're an elephant and you know it, then your trunk will surely show it. If you're an elephant and you know it, raise your trunk. All right, now we're going to be like monkeys and we're going to be, if you're a monkey and you know it, jump up and down. All right? If you're a monkey and you know it, jump up and down. If you're a monkey and you know it, jump up and down. If you're a monkey and you know it, then your jumping surely shows it. If you're a monkey and you know it, jump up and down. All right, if you're a crocodile and you know it, snap your jaws like this. If you're a crocodile and you know it, snap your jaws. If you're a crocodile and you know it, snap your jaws. If you're a crocodile and you know it, then your jaws will surely show it. If you're a crocodile and you know it, snap your jaws. All right, our last one. If you're a lion and you know it, give a roar. Are you ready to roar? If you're a lion and you know it, give a roar. Roar. If you're a lion and you know it, give a roar. Roar. Woo. 
Ooh, you guys are good at that. If you're a lion and you know it, then your roar will surely show it. If you're a lion and you know it, give a roar, roar. Yay, good job. All right, we're almost to the end of our story time. We have one last rhyme before a goodbye song. Can you get your hands really, really big? All right, this is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, 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 get really short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. All right, one more time, get really big. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Yay, good job. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our goodbye song. And we're gonna do our goodbye song like our hello song. So we're going to first clap and sing goodbye. Can you clap with me? Here we go. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye with our friends at story time. We clap and sing goodbye. All right, for our next one, we're going to stomp like an elephant and sing goodbye. Are you ready? We stomp and sing goodbye. We stomp and sing goodbye with our friends at story time. We stomp and sing goodbye. Then we're gonna be like a monkey and we're gonna jump and sing goodbye. Are you ready? We jump and sing goodbye. We jump and sing goodbye. With our friends, it's story time. We jump and sing goodbye. All right, our last one. Can you wave and sing goodbye with me? We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With our friends, it's story time. We wave and sing goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for joining me at the zoo today. See you next time. Bye-bye.